In this episode, we will see how to install Flutter on macOS, Catalina or other Mac version. Open any browser and then go to Google and after going there, search Flutter and hit return key. Once from the search page, go to Flutter website link and once you are in the Flutter website link, just click on the top right corner, get started and it will be on the Flutter installation page. From there, choose macOS because we are going to install Flutter for macOS operating system. So here at the beginning, it mentioned the system requirements to install Flutter. I am skipping this thing. I am going directly to the download section of this page. So here at first, we need to download the Flutter. Just click over there and the Flutter uh, file, I mean the zip file will be downloaded. Uh, the download time, it varies based on the internet bandwidth. Once we finish downloading the Flutter zip file, we have to go to the download location. For my case, the download location is under downloads. So I see that my download is already finished. Okay, so I'm going to my downloads location and I see there is the zip file. I need to extract this zip file. To extract this thing, I just right click over there and I choose the unarchiver. This is the software I am using to extract this thing, but you can use any other utility or software. So once the extraction is finished, we will find a folder. Its name is Flutter. So let's wait a few more seconds to finish the extraction. Once we finish extraction, then we will continue. Uh, the extraction is finished and now we see the Flutter folder is there. The download folder is a temporary location for files to download. The Flutter folder is located on the downloads folder. So it will be a good idea or wise decision if we move this Flutter folder somewhere to other location where it will be permanent. Like for example, we can put it in our username folder. So I'm opening another finder window and from there I'm going to the uh, root of my hard disk. Hold command key and press up arrow repeatedly until you find Macintosh HD. Double click on Macintosh HD and then go to the users by double clicking and here you will find your own username. For me, it's me, my username. I just double click over there and finally I am my user folder. So here I will create on folder. The folder name should be something like this developer because we are do doing some developing or something you can put any name as you like it doesn't matter let, let me rename the folder name so I'm typing uh, development suppose for example development will be uh, our flutter installation location okay so I renamed it and then double clicking over there and finally I'm dragging and dropping the flutter here uh, from the downloads Folder location. I can close this window. I don't need it anymore. And then here, if we double click in the Flutter, we'll see the bin. This is the main path for our Flutter installation. We need this path to set up. Now let's go to the Flutter installation page. I mean the official Flutter website for completing the installation. So here I see there is a line export this line. We need to add this path up, uh, so that we can finish the installation. To add this path, we need we need to modify the file dot bash profile that file just open the terminal and from there uh, type the command uh, list dash al uh, this type of command so it will show all the lists so there is uh, there will find on file its name is called uh, dot bash underscore profile let me search where is the file here here is the file dot bash dot underscore profile uh, we need to modify this space if you don't see this file is here just create that file in that location okay and then once you created that file we have to type the command open space dash e dash dot the file name i mean bash underscore profile that thing and hit return key and now we need to update the path so let's go to the uh, installation page of flutter so i'm going to copy uh, this line export line here there is on catch here is the path okay so dollar path here we have to change our own uh, flutter location path so for uh, at first i will click i will copy the whole thing so i'm selecting of the whole line and then i'm clicking on copy so once i copied and then i have to paste here so i'm going to that editor and i paste it and now i have to update this path the path is actually from here to here okay now go to the folder location of flutter where we installed okay so this is our flutter folder flutter we are seeing this development flutter and bin so we need to copy this path okay so what i will do 
I am selecting uh, this bin and I'm dragging and I'm drop I'm, I'm dropping on top of the editor so it will copy the whole path and finally I am going to select this path right click and then cut and we need to update this path so the path should be after colon till this bin so I am deleting this thing and I am right click I am clicking right and then paste I mean the copied path which I did that and finally we have to save this thing to save this thing we can do file save and then we can close this thing because uh, we modified the path and finally I'm going to click uh, file then close it will close the thing okay so now in this way we modified our dot bash dot profile now we need to check whether the flutter installation is successful or not uh, basically to check that we need to close uh, this terminal so I'm going to click here uh, to close this terminal and then I have to reopen the terminal to reopen the terminal again i am holding command key and i'm pressing space bar to get the spotlight search and i'm typing here terminal so once the terminal is there then i am i have to type the command flutter dash dash version and then we have to hit return key if you run that command for the first time you will see a couple of extra windows like this uh, git which is not installed on my computer it is asking whether do you want to install it or not i just clicked on install because i need that letter uh, and i'm agreeing the terms and conditions so it will start installation uh, this is actually an optional you can use it or not it doesn't matter uh, but if in future if you want to uh, if you need any type of version controlling system for your application or software then basically this is a good idea and it is popping me on warning during the installation time so i read the mess warning message i think it's not a major effect so i'm going to click on cancel button once i click cancel button again it is going to uh, complete the installation of git it takes some time like three to four minutes based on the computer speed and uh, the bandwidth of your computer uh, internet okay so once the git installation is complete then i will uh, start again the rest of the tutorial i see the installation is complete and now i am going to click on done button to finish installation and then i'm going to the terminal window again and i'm typing the command again flutter dash dash version and this time if i hit enter key i see that it is uh, showing something building flutter uh, test and it is waiting for the first time it takes some time again i am telling you for the first time it will take some time uh, to show you the details later it will be very fast okay just uh, be patient for the first time during the installation i see uh, it is running and yes uh, it is complete i mean uh, it is able to execute the command flutter that is version and we can see uh, here the details it is showing the version of the flutter which we installed and also it is showing uh, the dart language version also uh, that means uh, it is able to install completely let me run the command again now check it's this time it is very fast and it is showing the details of the version and the programming language dart in this way we can easily install flutter on our mac operating system catalina or later version uh, and if you face any difficulties just put in the comment section and thank you again for watching the video uh, and if you wish uh, to see more tutorials just click on subscribe button to get the latest information or latest video from my channel thank you thank you again for watching the video